Hey everybody, welcome to my newest project, Fallout. Now, it's right after E3. I'm sitting here and it's practically 2.24 in the morning. And I'm like, I want, I've got to let's play this. I've got to let's play this game. Because E3 just happened. Uh, they told us that in November, Fallout 4 is coming to uh, consoles and PC and all that. And it's a huge huge surprise to me because I was going to do a Road to Fallout uh, 4 and I still am I mean I'm doing it right now but I've got to cram three games in between now and uh, Fallout 4's release and I can't wait any longer it's got to happen so basically uh, Fallout 1 is a post nuclear role playing game and there's the intro or the video the intro video um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a Fallout, uh, Fallout is a post-nuclear role-playing game in a po post-apocalyptic setting. Uh, it was developed and published by Interplay in 1997. It's the first game of the series, duh. Uh, takes place in the year 2161, that's the story, uh, on the west coast of the United States, also known as California. Um, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Now you can choose these guys like uh, Max Stone here, uh, Natalia, and uh, Albert. This guy's strength, this one's agility, and this one is, well, what is he? He's a charisma guy, he's a talker, okay. But we're going to create our own character. Now, I've already got a setup the way I've got, I want to do it this way. This is my setup here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that straightened out. And, uh, all right, I'm going to get my character set up here. Um, and then I'll tell you exactly why and, uh, reasons why I like this setup. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so basically the way I want my character set up is I've given him bruiser uh, bruiser uh, gives you plus two to strength and negative two to action points uh, uh, it doesn't matter really I mean it's just you know it gives you some extra points um, gifted which is uh, you get more innate abilities and talents than most so you have not spent as much time honing your skills plus one to all primary statistics now that's awesome but you start with negative 10 percent on all skills and receive five less uh, skill points per level that's the only that's the drawback but plus one to all these skills that's amazing okay so I've got five in strength here basically five will give me enough to use all the small guns that I could ever want uh, uh, perceptions at nine so I can see practically everything that's going on and it gives me ranged combat modifiers which is nice uh, endurance is at five charisma I'm I'm not too good on the, the talking side I'm not gonna be talking my way out of a lot of fights I might uh, be able to talk my way through my speech skill here just a little bit but it's not gonna be that great um, intelligence is at excellent, <clears throat> which is a new skill. <clears throat> it gives me more skill points per level. <coughs> um, and some dialogue options, which are probably not going to work. Uh, agility is at heroic, so I can have, um, well, more action points, so I can do more things during my turn. And Lux at 9 because, well, it gives you a critical chance modifier, 9%. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, it also uh, affects some random encounters in the field, like going around in the wasteland and stuff. Anyway, since we've got that all figured out, I've got small guns, which gives me knowledge of small firearms, pistols, SMGs, and rifles. Lockpick because of lockpick and speech because my charisma is so terrible. Um, later on, we might be boosting our energy weapons 
to uh, make us more powerful in those because they are really powerful and really good late game. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. It ought to be fun. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. And the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe, okay? Okay, so we're outside the vault. It says, never before have you seen a natural darkness like this one. It almost looks unnatural to you. Well, things are about to get a whole lot more crazy. You see some bones. Bones. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Well, it pretty much tells you if you right click, <clears throat> you can examine, and it's 10 millimeter armor piercing bullets. So, you know, it's for a 10 millimeter pistol, which we have. Isn't that awesome? And it looks just like the one in Fallout 3. We also have some, uh... Let's see, what do these do? Okay, well, basically, uh, I believe these are armor-piercing bullets. Yep. And these are hollow points. So, basically, hollow points do more damage to fleshy monsters, and armor-piercing goes straight through their... Well, armor, in other words. Alright, so, what I like to do... Is I actually like to equip the pistol because you get so much ammo in the game that it's absolutely ridiculous. It really is. There's there's so much ammo you get. Now if we check our pit boy here, we've got 150 days until well the vault is screwed and they all die. They run out of water. Basically have to leave the vault. In other words, because well we left the vault and we're still alive. So it's kind of an interesting concept. It's also a huge time limit. And that makes things kind of a little bit harder. Anyways, I've selected the little target icon down here. And it costs more AP to do that. You can do a regular shot. Um, or this, which is an aimed shot. Which is also known as VATS. Yes, VATS is in the game. Now rats are pretty susceptible to the groin area if I can hit them. Now I'm terrible on the rolls in this game so you'll have to bear with me here. But I've got the combat set up to max. Go for the groin again. Bam. If you can hit them in the groin it's like it's 12 hit points so that's pretty amazing right up right there. You know I mean look at that. 25 experience killing that rat. As you can see we've got a little number here above the target. It's 43 percent. That's our hit rate. <clears throat> And we got a 13% chance to hit him in the groin. So, we're probably going to miss that. We're probably... Whoa. Did I just kill that rat behind that rat? I am legend. <clears throat> that is the luckiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Alright, so we're going to have to let this one come at us. But see, since I've got the uh, combat speed turned all the way up, they move unnaturally fast. 
which is going to be a lifesaver, trust me. Oh, five points, huh? We could run away and make the rat chases, but they don't really hit all that hard. And he missed, also. So, haha, loser, you missed. Now we can also reload our pistol by so, uh, right clicking. You right click on this to choose the modes of fire that you want. That's basic, regular shot. You can also examine things on the field, which I know I'm kind of getting technical in this episode, but later on, trust me, it's it's all going to tie together, and you're going to be glad I got this out of the way because, well, we need to know this kind of stuff. Oh wow, he didn't even get a turn. Aha! You suck, rat. Had a 50-50 chance practically right there to hit him in the nuts. This guy doesn't even care that we're here. But we got so many action points that we can practically run away and still get the next shot in. Let's go ahead and go for a body shot. Right. You got your uh, map and character icons over here, which I'll explain them later. Kind of want to get done with this this rat cave bullshit. <laughs> okay, let's run away. Ah, ah! You can't stop me. You can't even catch me, rat. Now I don't have to keep hitting this. I can. Well, actually, yeah, I do have to keep hitting this because I got to choose what I'm going to do. But there are uh, hot keys, so to speak, I guess. All right. Now, 150 days may seem like a lot of time, but trust me, you can pretty much screw yourself if you're not careful. And this game is not easy, even though I've got it set to normal. It's not that easy of a game. Let's see if I can get a regular shot here. I missed. Oh well. Oh, I missed. I had to do that. Yeah, aiming is pretty bad. Well, not not the the tactic itself, but actually managing managing to hit something at this low of a level. It's kind of hard. And well, I put myself right at risk there. But that's okay. Cuz this rat's probably going to die right now. Yes, he totally did. He bit the big one. He's uh chewing on that big piece of cheese in the sky, yo. Whoa. We're from Vault 13, by the way, just in case you didn't read the big giant 13 on our character's back. And, uh, I honestly, I didn't name the character because, uh, I forgot to mention this, actually. I didn't name the character because I want to know what you guys think I should name him. Uh, try not to be sexual or racist or anything like that because I will not choose those. Try to be honest, like... What would you like me to name my character? And, uh, you know, make sure you answer quickly because if I get too far in the game, he will just be known as none. And, uh, we don't want that to happen, do we? Let's go ahead and get us a nice little reload here. Alright. So there's lots of rats over here. Oh boy, look how fast he, he came at us. Now the first time I played this game, which was like two or three weeks ago, yeah, I was preparing to do this. I was, I hadn't played this, and uh, this is my second playthrough actually. And I know a lot about the game. Um, well, I know more than I did, so it's it's probably going to be interesting to watch me flail about sometimes because I'm not the pro. I know a lot about this game, and I've got a good, decent build. At least I like to think I do. Um, I mean, you need the five for strength and 
that's going to help out a lot with your guns. Because you do get an awesome pistol later on. And it's, it's an amazing pistol. I love that pistol. Um, but yeah, trying to name the uh, name my character. Uh, give him a funny name. Give him a stupid name. I don't really care what you name him, just as long as it's not vulgar and uh, it doesn't offend people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna name him a curse word. I'm not gonna name him a racial slur. Um. I know, that just narrows it down, doesn't it? It's like, oh my god, what do we call him if we can't be racist or insensitive or vulgar or anything? What are we going to do? Oh my god, like, I, I don't give you guys enough credit. I always like to use this aim function. I don't know why. It's just I like to see the grid, enemy grid, and I think that's all the rats. I really do. Let's try to go back into the vault. Let's be like, Oh my god, wait, wait, that ain't, that isn't all the rats. Yeah, I'm glad I turned the battle speed up because, oh my god, it's just, it's horrendously slow. It's like Final Fantasy IV, right before you realize that you should turn the battle speed up. Oh. I just, I gotta see the rat's body like that, you know, I just got to. We've actually done pretty good at keeping ourselves healthy here. I got to say, body shot, rat body shot. These guys don't drop anything, by the way. You may be tempted to. Uh... And here we go. To the west, you can see stars in an open sky. For the first time in your life, you're looking at the outside world. Stars, huh? Oh yeah, you can examine this little guy too if you want to. You think these might be horned kangaroo bones, but you cannot be sure. They are too weathered to make a final determination. Okay, so this is the uh, the world map. Basically, you can check out the town if you want to. A cavern vault door. But we're going to go this way real fast. We're going to check out the mountains. All you gotta do is click on the space you want to go. There you go. And now, guess what? We go right back because we're scared to death of the outside world. We're going right back to Vault 13. Oh yeah. And we're going to check out the vault in the next episode. See you then. Your sides and a small child can stack you. <laughs> the Queen Derizia. Out bitches. <laughs> you weak, pathetic fools. I'll swallow your souls. What is your name, young pig?